Hi, thanks for joining us today on Real Estate Insiders TV. I'm Danny Poulos with the Elite Team at Blue Chip Lending, and our guest today is Dennis Gianetti. He's a national sales coach and trainer, uh, and he's also the chief training officer at Lang Realty. So he's uh, not only a sales expert and marketing expert, but he really specializes in the real estate business. So he's going to have some great tips for you today. So uh, Dennis, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having and, me. Uh, You've been on before and we had a lot of information last time, so let's just continue. Sure. Uh, tell me what you're doing now and tell everybody again how you got into this. Sure. Well, you know, it's interesting how I got into the business. When I was in high school, uh, my grades were horrible. My SAT score, forget about it. They tell people stay in school. That didn't mean me. You know? <laughs> and uh, my mom was in the real estate business and she said, you, know, you should get in the real estate business. It's a good business. My dad said something different. My dad said, son, let me tell you something about the real estate business. Getting into the real estate business is like going to Denny's. Nobody really goes to Denny's, they just kind of end up there. <laughs> and you know what he meant though was if you're gonna show up, show up. Right. Long story short, I got into the business, I did go to college, do all the degrees, everything like that, but at the end of the day, here I am. So it was a real estate business that you really, that, that's the path you chose? It really is, I mean, it, it, it looped around and, it, and it's wrapped around the training and coaching, but the real estate business has always been the magnet for me. And. Um, I mean, some people love it, love it, some people hate it, and they're yeah. still in it. What do you like most about it? Well, what I like about it is the diversity. I mean, there's just so much about this business that is interesting. And, and the biggest element of that are the people. You're going to get different kinds of clients. You're going to get different kinds of agents. Everything is going to wrap around to that connection that you and I are going to have. Right. The... Um so you're not only dealing with different type of clients from the real estate buying and selling aside, but now you're talking about dealing also with different kind of agents. Everyone's got their own Absolutely. personality, their own style, their own weaknesses, their own strengths. Right. And so let's get into that about your coaching and training sure. of real estate agents. Yeah. Um, tell us what makes it different from what they may be used to hearing about real estate coaching and training. Well, you know, one of the things that I wanted to do is walk the walk. So I went and found ways to increase my game. And I did that a couple different ways. You might have heard of Tony Robbins. Never heard of him. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got certified as- He did bad in school too, didn't he? Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> Let's hope I can follow that path. Listen but, up, dummies. Yeah. <laughs> Don't stay in school. Bad message, bad message. He, uh, I got certified as a strategic intervention coach with Tony Robbins. And that's really helped me become a life coach for real estate agents. Right. In this business, we can teach them a lot of things, but if their life's out of order, everything else falls out of order. So, I mean, so you're not just teaching them sales. Mm -mm. So let's get into what what, what, is, what kind of certification did you say? Well, they call it strategic intervention coach. But and what it's, is that? It's do? life coach. And, okay. and what we're doing is we're looking at the six human needs that people have that motivate them, that cause them to take action, or what's holding them back. And we apply that psychology, that neuro-linguistic programming, you might have heard that before, uh, to what they're thinking and what they're doing as a result of what they're thinking. Tell them the six things without, uh, this is going to be free. Ah, yeah. You don't have to pay to hear this yeah, today. Yeah. What are the six things? Well, it's interesting. There's certainty. There's variety, which is really uncertainty. Significance. Connection. Sometimes we call that love. And then there's growth and contribution. And what's interesting is the first four our needs of the personality. The last two are where we really take it to another level in our life. Where people get stuck is they really want certainty and they want to be significant. Right. And that's a bad combination to have as your two primary needs. That's where most people are that need the, need the work. So I'm sure a lot of your coaching has to do with really balancing. It does. Life, work, family. Absolutely, it's, it's essential. And uh, just the other day I was talking to a client and he goes, can I talk to you for a minute? I didn't know what he needed. He's like, you want to believe it, I've lost 30 pounds, I'm having a great time, my business is doing better. This is what I'm talking about. It's not yeah. just a profitable business, it's a meaningful life. So you give diet tips too? Yeah, <laughs> but uh, you know, maybe sometimes. I could use a little maybe help. Maybe sometimes. <laughs> so um, let's make a turn a little bit and talk about strictly uh, real estate. Yes. What's uh, a couple of tips that you, strongest points that you find yourself in today's market making with realtors? How well, do you improve their business? Luckily, some of the other things that I've done was, was work with Ninja Selling. I brought the shirt for there you. you go. There you go, Ninja. <laughs> um, and Go Giver. Uh, Bob Berg wrote a book, The Go Giver, Go Giver Sells More. And both of these, interestingly, both of these programs actually coincide. With every Ninja kit that's given out, the Go Giver books are in there. And why is that? Because they have the same philosophy, which is selling is serving putting the customer's interest first, adding value to people's lives. 
Having said that, with Ninja, what we also do is we look at beyond the mindset, the skill set, and the actions as well. So if I was going to give some tips, I would say this. Number one, to be a ninja, you have to commit to mastery. You've got to commit to becoming so good at what you do that it's natural. And that coincides with the go-giver and the need for authenticity. People today, they want to know they're dealing with the real thing. Uh -huh. They don't want to be sold by you. They want to be sold on you. And the right. only way that happens is when you're sold on yourself. And if you're faking it until you make it, you're not being authentic. And people know that. Right. So back up a little bit and just tell us a little more about the go-giver philosophy. Well, the go-giver philosophy is, is talking about how giving is not only a good way to live, it can also be a profitable way to live. They'll right. say, for example, asking does this make money isn't a bad question. It's just a bad first question. Right. How can I serve? How can I add value is really a good first question. And that's something that um, a realtor is going to put to use in his own business. Mm -hmm. um, Rather than doing the same old, same old. Yeah, it's a differentiator. You know, people used to. Yeah, statistics indicate a lot of people think that real estate agents have a reputation issue. And it's not a reputation issue, it's a differentiation issue. It's not about the reputation of realtors, it's they seem all the same. Right. And when you're a go giver and you're adding value to people's lives in and out of that transition, but also in life, you're going to find that people will know you, like you, trust you better. They'll do business with you, and they'll refer more business to you. I mean, really, you're turning the, the traditional strategy upside down. Y you it, know, it's it's a new way and a, and a right way. I think so because I got to be honest. I mean, I I don't understand the old way of doing things. <laughs> the, just make a thousand calls. Someone will say yes. Right? Just knock on a hundred doors. Someone will open it. Uh, they're under the impression sometimes that if we keep sending postcards without connecting with people, that someone's going to go to the mail and say, you know, I wasn't going to sell my house, but this postcard's beautiful. Right. So it's not that those things <laughs> can't that. work, but if we're looking to increase our income and also be efficient with our time, we got to focus on the relationships that we have with people and be a part of their lives in a valuable, resourceful way. Right. So I would expect that if you're farming a certain area mm -hmm. and a certain neighborhood and you've established connections using yes. the type of strategies that you talk about and you're bringing in value to that neighborhood and yes. you're in community service and you've met people face Huge. to face then when they get that postcard yes it's not something that just goes like this right and that, this is my friend Dennis yes you know and we were thinking of buying selling whatever or asking for advice mm -hmm. you really become a part of their lives yes so when you get an opportunity to become part of their lives on a business level mm -hmm. You're the go-to person. Yeah, we joke right? about it. We'll say, if they know you, they'll say, just like you did, oh, there's Danny, before they throw the postcard away. Right. <laughs> but, but they remember you now. Because consistency is where marketing creates awareness. But familiarity is where people make a decision to call you up. Yeah. It's different when Matt said, oh, jeez, Danny. <laughs> it goes in the garbage. You got a different face than when they <laughs> see you on there. Absolutely. Before you throw me away, so remember it, me. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, what do you see the business going in the future for real estate? We've seen the changes over the last five years. Yeah. What's going to happen next? Well, here's, here's my take on it. I believe that's up to the realtor. I think if realtors treat this as a job, they're going to be out of business. Right. Because when you're treating it as a job, you're basically doing what you need to do to get the job done. But we're talking about the minimum amount required. You have to be an entrepreneur. And more than that, you've got to be a business owner. Because even if I'm really good at sales, I can only do as much as I can do. But if I'm a business owner and right. I start using people and systems and tools, I can go beyond what I can do. I can allow my value to expand beyond my very own circle. So rather than thinking of yourself as an agent for a particular company, mm -hmm. I mean, the business is you. I believe, I and, mean, and that's the way it should be. And that's really the way that it is. A brokerage needs to be like what I'm working at Lang with, which is really a consultancy for how right. agents can build their business. And agents have to be entrepreneurs who use those services a consultancy would provide to do so. So when people are agents at Lang, I mean, you're part of the value package at Lang, I would expect. I like to think a big one, yeah, uh, yeah, no, without. Or was that a stretch? For you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like I like to think a big one because we're you know they have about 400 agents, uh -huh. and in about a year and a half we've already trained about 150 on a wow. consistent basis, and that's that's pretty significant given the size of the company and the proportional amount of agents that we've trained. And honestly, you're not just changing their business and their business model and the strategy. 
but you're changing their lives. That's the I best mean, part, right? That's the best part. I mean, that's not a stretch. That, that's really what you're doing first. And now if they carry those same strategies into their business mm -hmm. and their business connections and relationships, that's what spells success for them, really. It really does, because if you're not enjoying what you do when you're at work, then you're going to have a problem at home. And if you and if you don't enjoy what's going on in your life, you're going to have a problem at work. There has to be harmony. There has to be a synergy right. there. And without that, you know, you're always going to run into these roadblocks that are going to stop you from reaching the potential that's possible. Right. And be before we run out of time, you've got some new stuff going on yeah. in your own professional life. You got a book? A book's coming out. We're hoping by the end of the year. It's called Find Your Fire. And it's basically helping people ignite what they need to do within themselves to have the momentum. Uh -huh. And what I mean by that is most people talk about motivation. We think motivation is temporary. Momentum are doing the things consistently that you want to do so that you can get a result that you're looking to get. Accountability is not what we're talking about. Accountability means, Danny, I'm going to make you do the things that you don't want to do. Right. Momentum is, what do you want to do? Let's do it and make something happen. Oh, I like that. Sounds like more fun. Yeah, <laughs> when, when the book comes out, we'll have you on again and talk yeah, about it. Definitely. In the meantime, tell everybody how they can reach you if they have uh, more questions about your professional coaching, training, uh, about opportunities at Lang. Mm -hmm. Sure. If you want to reach me personally, you would... Go to my website, which is www.dennisgianetti.biz. It's D-E-N-N-I-S-G-I-A-N-N-E-T-T-I dot B-I-Z. Uh, you can also email me at dennis at dennisgianetti.biz. Excellent. Thanks for coming on again, Dennis. Uh, always great. Thank you so much.